Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm kind of doing a get ready with me kind of thing and a review on the Hourglass Stick Foundation. So if you guys want to see how it wears throughout the day and see what it looks like on the skin, especially dry to normal skin, um, then keep watching. And before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can hit the little bell for notifications for when I upload new videos and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up <clears throat> all right and today I'm going to try a new foundation that I have never tried before in the hourglass stick seamless stick foundation and I got the color ivory Um, I got a mini in shell in a subscription box and I really like that for concealer and I had bought shell originally and I just felt like it was really light so I took it back and got this one so let's hope it works because it's like the ninth color in the scale alright so I'm going to read to you what the hourglass website says about this foundation a revolutionary foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, the fluidity of a liquid, and the weightlessness of a powder in a long-wearing waterproof formula, undetectable full coverage. The unprecedented concentration of pigment in this foundation provides maximum coverage with minimum product, concealing all discoloration and imperfections for flawless skin with a seamless finish. Winner of Ebony Best Foundation Stick 2016 Beauty Awards. Okay, well, I love full coverage, so I guess we'll see. I've never used a foundation stick, so I don't know exactly how much to use. Let's see how much product we get. On the box it says it is... Okay, today, guys, we are going to be using the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. I've only literally done two looks with this. I'm not going to do reviews and swatches and all that because there's a million of them out there. So, I'm sure you can find one that you you will like. But, I don't even know what look I'm going to do. First, I'm going to prime my lid. with the NARS I have no idea what it is, the NARS concealer mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to take the color Amen and set my eyes with that Oh yeah, I um, already did my brows off camera with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown and the Kapow Brow Gel in number 5. Since there is not a good transition color in this palette I'm going to take my modern renaissance palette and take golden ochre and use that as my transition shade with the same brush And then I'm going to take, since Devil looks really orange, I'm going to take the Burnt Orange and the Modern Renaissance palette and put that right over the Golden Ochre. Alright, going back to the Modern, or the uh, Kat Von D Saint and Center palette, I'm going to take the color Devil this orange color and put that in my crease as well this palette is super 
pigmented so you don't need a lot especially those matte colors I suggest lightly dipping and that was not light now I'm going to take a clean crease brush my Morphe M576 brush and I am going to blend that in I think I'm going to take crucifix this dark brown color and pop that on the outer V and now we're going to take a little bit of the Maybelline instant age rewind foundation on a flat small flat concealer brush and carve out where a little higher than your lid, actual lid. Just a little bit of crucifix again on my Mata Pro BMX 430 crease brush. Add just a little bit into your crease and blend it out. And then I'm going to take a flat, just a flat brush with like a dome top. I don't even know. This doesn't have a name. And I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. If I can open it. You don't have to spray it, but if you want a really bright shimmer, then you might want to spray it. And I'm going to take a little bit of Ooh. I'm going to take a little bit of Chalice, this goldish brown shade and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm going to take just a little bit of cathedral this gray glittery color and pop that use the other side of my brush and pop that right over it And then to darken up the outer corner and blend so they transition into each other seamlessly. Take a little bit more of Crucifix. And then I'm going to take that first brush that I was using and blend the top part out a little bit more so there's no harsh lines. Typically I don't do my eyeshadow before my foundation but when you do use dark colors it's probably a better idea because you can clean up any mistakes with a makeup wipe or you just cover it with foundation 
depending on how dark it is. So I'm going to moisturize real fast with this Lana Cream Hyd Hydrating Day Cream. Alright, now I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing one. I'm just going to pop this on my T-zone, where my pores are really big. I'm just going to pull my hair back. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to use the True Blend CoverGirl Face Primer for dry skin, because I have very dry skin, for the rest of my face. I honestly do, like, I love this stuff. Oh, 0.25 ounces. It even has directions for use. <laughs> Only a small amount is needed. Start with less and blend. Gradually add more as necessary. Okay. Anyway, back to this. <clears throat> That's actually quite a bit. I mean, I know it's like hard to see because, well, we'll see how it wears and what it looks like on the skin. I'm going to use the my Beauty Blender, <clears throat> which is damp on one side of my face. And then I'm going to use my Morphe E6 brush on the other side. So, let's see. And these are the two things I always apply my foundation with, so I don't want to roll it up too far and it break on me. Um, this side will do the beauty blender and this side the brush. I don't know how much to use. That should be enough. I said beauty blender on this side, right? <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Ooh, I don't know if it's this lighting or what, but this color looks a little yellow. On camera, it looks good, but it looks so good on camera, but. It might just be my lighting. So, I feel like I'm getting a lot of texture on this part of my face, and right here, on my forehead. But it looks pretty on my skin, but it looks kind of powdery. All right. Let's move on to the other side. I feel like I added a little more on this side. I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit with my MAC Fix Plus. Stipple this in. I haven't even got most of my face done already. I think I like the brush better. I'm just gonna go over that with my beauty blender just to make it sit smoother on my skin. Alright, don't mind the cracks on my lips because I added some lip primer because they're dry, but I've been putting chapstick on all day at work, so. But, okay, looking at this in the mirror, I feel like 
one, I need to do something about this mustache. Two, two, it looks very textured on my forehead and on my cheeks right here. It looks really pretty on the skin, but it looks dry, very dry. Mm. I have dry skin, so that's not a good thing for me. Okay, well, I don't think I need to add any more coverage. It did cover everything beautifully, like the couple, a uh, little bit of acne I down, have down here. And I'm um, underneath my nose. And just a little spot on my cheek and the redness on my face. So, I'm okay in that category. So, I'm going to go ahead and conceal my face, highlight my face, with my NARS primer once again. I got this in the little size to try it out before I bought the big one. But I love this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and buy the big one very soon. And this is where you want to clean up your lines on your um, eyeshadow. What I do to clean up my lines is follow the corner of my eye to the end of my eyebrow. But that's preference. You clean it up how you went, however you like. And this is a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my damp beauty blender. I can't find my little one, but little beauty blenders are perfect for this. I always wondered, like, why would they make such a small beauty blender? What would you use that for? When I got mine, I thought it was a joke, but I love it so. Alright, so before this creases, I'm going to oh, bake with my Too Faced Born This Way powder. I'm going to take in a little bit on my Beauty Blender and place it under my eyes. This is to help prevent creasing, which I get a lot of, especially in my smile lines and under my eyes. And then I'm just going to take the rest of it that was in my cap with my Mata Pro BMX 130 pointed brush, this big this big fluffy brush never do you want to put your powder on with this or with a big brush because it'll cake it on and I'm going to take this and sweep it all over my face and I'm going to sweep this away I'm going to go back to the eyes, back to the palette. I really do love this palette, and I think I just ripped it, trying to open it the wrong way. I really do love this palette, but it's not practical. Like This is not something I would go to for an everyday look. Let me try not to blind you guys. The colors are pretty, but... I don't know how often I would ever really use them. But okay, I'm going to use my Morphe M578 brush. It's small, domed, pointed brush. I'm going to take the color. And 
And I'm going to take the color double. Run that underneath my, uh, my lash line. And then I'm going to take this small, more precise brush. It is dirty. Doesn't have a name. And I'm going to take crucifix. Back in a crucifix. And do the same thing, just a little bit closer. And I'm only going to go about halfway. I think I'm going to take a little bit of heaven. This really gold shimmery color. It does not look gold or shimmery on camera. It looks white. But I think I'm going to pop that into... Ouch. My eyeball, apparently. The inner corner. Alright. Now I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the rest of this look off camera. Because, I mean, how many videos have you not seen of people contouring and highlighting and all that? And I will list all the products that I used in the description box down below. And I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look, and um, so I'm going to go and get dressed, and the check-in time is now 12.03 p.m., so I'm just going to say noon, and I will let you know how this foundation wears throughout the day, and let you know what it looks like when I am done doing what I have to do. Let's see if it is going to last. And I will be back. Alright guys, so I have had this on for about 9 hours now. Yeah, I know. Um, but I just want to say it still looks really good. And don't mind the rest of my makeup. It's just been a really long day. But I um, just want to zoom in and show you like what is wrong like other than like it did crease in my smile lines but not horribly but that happens to me no matter what but on my forehead like you can see all the texture like when I set this the one thing about it was especially like right here where my pores are really bad it looked pretty flawless when I pushed in pushed down on my with my beauty blender but now you can go back to seeing every pore overall it still looks pretty good this is the best like semi natural lighting I could get honestly I think this might be better than the lighting I have but I just wanted to show you guys what it was like after you know about eight hours of wear and I'm pretty happy with it, especially for it being as dry as it is on my skin. But, um, I just wanted to let you guys know what the check-in was like. I'm about to take my makeup off and get ready for bed. So, have a good night. Bye!